All right, everyone, thank you for joining me today on another episode of The Urban Gardener. I want to ask you real quick, please hit the subscribe button down below. Follow along with more garden adventures as we continue growing here on The Urban Gardener this season. Today, it's a really, really nice day out, but we're going to be spending most of our time in this episode inside, and we're going to move our pepper plants along this season into their next stage as they get ready to be planted out here in the coming weeks as we approach our last frost date here in my region. So before we do that, we're going to take a few minutes here and we're going to take a look at the potatoes that we planted out in our containers for this year and check out how those plants are coming along. Let's go check those out and then we'll get to our peppers. What are you doing, Carl? Hanging out in the grass. You're totally not impressed, are you? And just another quick update on our potatoes and our containers here. Plants are coming up and growing out of them like crazy. Got the ones from last year in the bucket here. And the other ones are experiment potato from last year. Uh, overwintered and just popped right up out of this container here really going to be interested in seeing what's going on with those potatoes there same with these as they were overwintered and uh, grew in themselves but the ones that we planted out are looking really really good they are sitting in the sun right now and it is really really warm out so they are looking a little wilted there but as soon as the sun passes by, they'll pop right back into shape. All right, so how about those potatoes? Those are really, really great looking plants right now. But just like last year, I'm not gonna be fooled by all of the really, really nice plants that are growing out of my potato boxes because last year we still didn't get a very good harvest even though we had wonderful looking plants. We'll keep our fingers crossed and see how they turn out at the end of the season when they're ready to be harvested. So we'll check back on those potatoes again, maybe just a little more in a couple more weeks show the plants as they're getting more and more out of the boxes. So right now today what we're going to be doing is talking about our peppers again. We've got our 2018 peppers that we're growing this year. We've got a pretty good collection of them. I think somewhere around 18 different varieties which I mean really ended up close to what we ended up with last year as well. As I said in the first episode of this year's uh, peppers, um, I was hoping to maybe cut down on the varieties and maybe grow more of certain other varieties. But we'll try to keep and maintain the certain amount of uh, peppers I want to get from the certain plants that I want, but at the same time still grow some of the other wider varieties because that's what really makes peppers such a great, great plant to grow. Great, great uh, variety, flavors, uh, heat levels, all of that. So peppers are just really, really great. Um, I really enjoy growing them. So what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna transplant them into our red solo cups there, and we're gonna move them into another part of the house under some lights that I have set up in the living room. So before we get started transplanting these peppers, what I want to do is give you a video clip that I filmed just maybe a couple of weeks after um, we planted out our peppers. And one of the things I wanted to kind of highlight with this is explain to you that within just a week, we had plenty of uh, little uh, seedlings coming up in our six packs up under our light station. So it's really great to see that. I'll show you those clips real quick. Our peppers are nice and cozy in our seed light station. We planted them out about a week ago. So I think it's about time we take a look here and see how things are going. Oh yeah, look at that. We got some nice seedlings in there. Let's pull these out and take a closer look. All 
right, take a look at that. We've got our pepper starts coming up here. Place these up under the heat map. Let's take a look here. Get kind of close here. Got some really, really nice starts going here. Looks like we still got some trying to pop up there. And remember we planted uh, two seeds per cell. So we're waiting for some of those other ones to come up still there. Sometimes, you know, they might not, or they're just gonna take a little longer. As we'll see here, um, we just got our first leaves coming up, and it looks like some of these are about ready to start uh, putting out their second leaves. We'll wait until most of those have their second and third sets of leaves before we'll actually transplant them out into our larger containers. But over here you can see we got Poblano. So um, we'll keep an eye on the Poblano there. Sometimes you've got certain seed varieties that are just a little bit more stubborn than some of the other ones. And also, you know, as you can tell with the others there, we still got some that are still popping up. So we'll keep an eye out there. These ones just might take a, just a little bit longer, even with the heat map. And it's just been a week or so since we planted out those seeds. So um, that's a really good fast uh, germination time for these uh, pepper seeds when you give them some nice warmth underneath of them. So that was our seedlings a couple of weeks ago. These are our seedlings now. now. Many of them are losing their first leaves that they get when they pop up out of our six packs there. Let's get to transplanting these out. So we got ourselves some really, really nice pepper starts here. And as you can tell from the flat here, our germination rate was really, really successful. So what we have are plenty of starts to choose from. We're going to be picking out what I consider basically the best of these starts, and then we're gonna be transferring them into these red solo cups. Now we use these red solo cups and there's been other videos and other gardeners out there who utilize these in starting their peppers too. Um, use just kind of a two cup set up here, the bottom being a base to hold in whatever water or whatever kind of uh, runoff that comes out of that from nutrients down into the bottom so that what we'll do here is, I'll just show you real quick, we're just going to cut Some slits right down into the bottom of our cup so that the roots can come out of the bottom and feed off whatever is water is run off and bought into the bottom of the uh, cup pick out right here I've got what looks like our Italian orange sweet pepper so we'll move this here So we got our Italian orange uh, peppers here in the six pack. We've got a few little small ones underneath, so we'll you know pass up on those. And we'll be looking at some of these nice ones that are growing really strong and got a really strong base. In fact, look right up in there too, and you can see all of these uh, whites look like little white spots coming out of the uh, bottom of those. That's roots, little roots that'll come out of the stem here. So what we'll be doing when we transplant these into the solo cups is we'll be burying them pretty deep there to allow for more roots to grow out of the side stem there, which will make a stronger plant with a stronger root system. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably take these three or four right here is what I think we'll do. So what we're gonna do now, So we've got some soil here. We'll take the one with the holes that we've cut into it. And we'll probably fill it up about halfway there with a little divot. And let's pull out these two plants here. Look at that really nice root system on that. 
it's really nice there just in time to be transplanted so what we're gonna do here now is really gently just kind of that's the one thing that's too that's really good with this seed starting soil mixture that we have is that if you just kind of let it dry out just a little bit before you go to transplant it'll be nice and really loose there and we can minimize any damage to our roots and just want to kind of work them really kind of loose just kind of wiggle them apart the root systems will come apart there we go look at that two really really nice pepper starts there really really nice root systems you can see the main root coming down through the bottom there so set this one aside here real quick that in really nicely there like I said we're gonna bury this kind of deep so I want that to get right in there just fill that in See, buried in nice and deep, practically to the next uh, leaf level there. Now mind you, when these starts grow and get themselves already as big before they go out to the gardens outside, we will um, bury them again a little bit more deeper. I've got all these other pepper starts to get taken care of, and when I get them all done, I'll meet up with you guys in the living room, and we'll check out the light setup that we got there for these peppers in their next stage here. So now we've got all of our peppers all transplanted out into the red solo cups. You've seen that we've then placed them into one of these. And this is just basically a rolling cup holder. It's got casters on the bottom side. It's just simple particle board. I'm gonna put an I-card right up above right now and you'll be able to see an earlier video where I constructed these things together. Now what they are really good for is to keep our peppers in place. We can move them around or I can easily pick up this amount of peppers and move them indoors and outdoors as we uh, harden off our peppers coming up here real soon in a couple of weeks as we get them ready to go outside. Now, right now they're gonna be down in these rolling cup holders and, I've and I'm going to place some large uh, CFL lights above them very close and then we'll keep them here for those next couple of weeks while we're waiting for the last frost date to come. Now our plants are going to be going out in a couple of weeks uh, still regardless of the fact that we did get them started a little bit late so they're not going to be as fully grown as I would like them to be. So they do fit into the spacing that we have here on these uh, rolling cup holders. Um, but if 
I was to start the plants out earlier like I usually anticipate doing, the plants are gonna get a little bit bigger than this spacing allows. So the one modification I would do to these if I could do them again, which I probably will for this next season, is I would give more space in between. And I'd probably hold a little bit less on one of these here. So I'd probably go four by five. And I'd eliminate a row on each side giving each plant in their cups just a little bit more space as they get to the size that we'd really, really want them to be before we plant them outside. Peppers are going to be doing just fine. They're going to continue to grow. They're just going to be giving us fruit just a little bit later than what I'd be anticipating for this year because of our late start. But hopefully we'll get some really, really great peppers out of these this year. What we have here is a brooder lamp. You can buy these most anywhere. Uh, most of your home and garden centers will have these um, and a splitter where I've split to two. Now, two is about as all you're going to get in most outlets. You don't want to be trying to split up all that power that those lamps need into three or more. Uh, two is going to be just fine for our peppers here. So we split out these large CFLs, put some information right here telling you exactly what they are. Um, just keep these down really close as we would with our shop lights right to our peppers and let them grow underneath of there for the next couple of weeks and we should have some nice pepper starts get ready to go outside with So we've picked out our best pepper plants and we've gotten them all transplanted out into our red solo cups. They're all going to be sitting underneath the light here in our living room for the next couple of weeks as we wait for our last frost date and the fact that it can be okay for them to go outside. We'll harden them off at that time and get them planted out into our gardens and especially up on top of our rooftop gardens on our carport in the future episodes. So look forward to that. They are right now just kind of settled in on our little roller solo cap holder. And if you have any ideas on what we could call that other than a roller solo cup holder or any suggestions, comments, or concerns, or anything at all, hit me up in the comment section below. And please give me a big, big thumbs up for this video. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Follow along with further adventures here in the gardens as we get going along on the Urban Gardener. I'll see you again the next episode. shot coming across the top which will basically 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 fade into this scene where what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk just briefly about this okay so as you see there we have placed most of our peppers into the places that <sighs> what do we call this that's the big question. What do we call this thing? <laughs> uh, what do we call it? What do we call it? It's a... Uh, a roller cup holder. 